What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the McFarlane Tours DC Multiverse Target Exclusive Batman Beyond. And so here we have the Target Exclusive Batman Beyond pose and out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through his accessories really fast. Batman Beyond does come with two pairs of hands. We do get a pair of clawing hands. We get a pair of pistol grip hands. We get two Batman Beyond accurate batarangs, which look really nice. We do get the main torso and head of the Joker bot build figure, which we'll have a better look at later on in the year. And then finally, he does come with a DC Multiverse McFarlane display stage. Other than that, Batman Beyond doesn't come with anything else, so let's actually move on to his details. And so here we have a closer look at the Target exclusive Batman Beyond. Now we've already had a look at the McFarlane Batman Beyond, so there's really not much more to talk about with this figure. The only real new part on him is the head sculpt, which I think it's a really awesome design. It kind of makes more sense of more futuristic Batman probably would have his mouth covered up. I know this isn't the classic Batman Beyond style that everybody expects, but it is a really nice looking figure and McFarlane has done a fantastic job with the Batman Beyond body. I really do like the panel lining on the head. It kind of matches the same panel lining that we saw on the original release or the single carded version. With, but this one does have some like vents right here and then of course the mouth it is covered. Which again, this kind of makes sense. It's not my preferred look for Batman Beyond, but it is a look nonetheless and it still looks really nice. There's really not much to say about the head. It's basically a cowl with the Batman eyes peering through it. Really do like the way the eyebrows look. It's a really imposing looking mask. Really love the way it looks. So again, we've already had a look at the McFarlane Batman Beyond. This is just the Target exclusive with the Joker bot fi build a figure piece. And I have to say, still really impressed by the way they did the bat symbol. It is a separate piece that is glued into place and it looks really nice. Really do like the black that they went with. It's almost like a glittery black gunmetal. It's really hard to explain. You have to have this figure in hand to know what I'm talking about, but it's almost like this speckles in the plastic which kind of make it look like metallic armor so I really do like that. The red on his chest is vibrant. I really do love the way that came out and overall just really love the design of this figure in general with the exception of the wings. Still not a fan of how they did the wings. I wish the wings could come off. We do have the little tab holds where you can peg in his arms. So yeah, that's something I really wish the cape or the wings were detachable. We do have his gauntlets, which you can see have a lot of nice little details throughout them. We do have the bat fins right here. And then we do get this really big tab, which does tab into the wing right there. And it's not my favorite gimmick. I kind of wish that it didn't do that, that you just had the wing out and then move the arm accordingly. But I guess it fills in the gap if you really wanted to. And it does look good from certain angles. If you look at it from the back, you see that peg. But yeah, it's really your cho choice of preference if you prefer him looking like that or without the wings. You can probably take this off if you heat it up enough. I haven't tried to yet. I might try with this version of the figure and see how that looks. We do have a really nice belt here. Again, it's really odd seeing the red and silver belt. I'm most used to seeing a black and silver with a red dot for Batman Beyond, but it still looks really nice. And I still wish that they had done more pouches or panels right here in the back. I think that would have made sense if all these just continued on the back. Still an overall great looking figure. Even though we don't get too much detailing right here in his legs, you can still see the musculature de detailing, which is still really nice and I do like that. We do get the pointed shoes for Batman Beyond. And of course we have the thrusters, which unfortunately this one doesn't come with thrusters. If you have the standard uh, single card release of Batman Beyond, you do get the thrusters. This one unfortunately just comes with the accurate batterings to the animated series. And this really nice head sculpt, which again, I'm not complaining. It's still a really good head sculpt. But yeah, that's Batman Beyond for you guys. So what we're going to do now is actually get them compared to other figures you may have in your collection. Here we have Batman Beyond posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman.
Here we have Batman Beyond posing next to a WWE Elite Scale figure in a Mezco 112th Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have Batman Beyond posed next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger in a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And finally, here we have the Target exclusive Batman Beyond posed next to a Mattel Multiverse Batman Beyond and the McFarlane General Release Batman Beyond. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually have a look at Batman Beyond's articulation. He does have a double ball joint in the head, which he can look up to about right there. Can look down to about right there, which is really good. Does have some really good head tilt. Works perfectly fine and it does move really nicely on that ball joint. He does turn left and right, no problem. Arms are on ball joints that peg into the body so you can see they do rotate really nicely. They can pivot up and down. Give you a slight butterfly joint, but it's not a lot, but it is better than most figures nowadays. He does have a ball joint which goes all the way out, as you can see, goes past the 90 degrees goes all the way around might get caught on the wings so just be aware of that he does have a bicep swivel which works no problem he has double bend here at the elbow going all the way up to his shoulder so really really loving that range he has a ball joint here in the wrist so he does have up and down movement we can move that to have in and out hinge so just be aware of how you have that peg and you have no problem posing his wrist he does have a double ball joint here at the torso, although it really only accommodates backwards movement, doesn't give us too much forward movement. Same thing with the lower torso, doesn't give us too far going forward, side to side, no problem. Going back, he has a surprisingly amount of decent range there, and of course he does rotate at that joint. Legs do kick forward to about right there, going a little past 90 degrees. They do kick back to about right there kick out to the side no problem does a splits really easy no thigh swivel unfortunately so we do get double bend here at the knee works fine we have a ball hinge here at the ankle which does let him kick forward that far goes back about that far we do have rotation at this peg we have forward facing pin for rocker ankle or you can rotate that ball joint to give him a true rocker ankle so that really does work and then of course we do have a generous toe hinge so overall we have had a look at this figure before it's still a really impressive looking figure and i really like the way he looks so with that out of the way guys let's actually get him posed for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review and so here we have the McFarlane Batman Beyond Target exclusive figure pose for my final thoughts. And overall, I really do like the way this figure came out. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed the first Batman Beyond and I enjoyed this figure. Even though this one isn't your traditional Batman Beyond with the exposed mouth, it's still a really nice figure to own. He does come with the accurate batterings to Batman Beyond, which is a really nice touch. Unfortunately, he doesn't get thrusters. I think the thrusters would have been nice to include with this figure. But he does come with the Build-A-Figure piece for the Joker bot, which I'm not going to lie to you, I don't know anything about the Joker bot. I'm probably going to have to research that before the rest of the figure comes out. But it does look like a really interesting figure and I am looking forward to building it. It looks like a really awesome figure and hopefully when it's all said and done, it turns out just as good as Batman Beyond here. Now, I really do like the way Batman Beyond came out. Like I said, it's not my preference for the mask, but I can see some aesthetics to it on why it would look good. And it still looks good in figure form. And that's something I was worried about, that it would look cheesy. But I'm really glad it's not. It's a really nice touch. And this is a really nice figure to own. If you're unable to find this version of Batman Beyond, I am really happy that McFarlane did release two versions. We have the Target exclusive, which does seem to be the harder of the two to track down. And then we have the general release, which is a $19 one without the builder figure part and with a more generic battering. Whichever one you guys find, it's really up to you which ones you would prefer to have, whether you want the closed off mouth or you want the exposed mouth. But me, personally, I think they're both a really solid figure. And if you had to choose one, ooh, I really can't tell you which one to go with. I think it's whichever one you find first would probably be your best bet. But if you have a preference on the cowl, go with that particular preference. Now, if you are looking for this Batman Beyond, I have seen him pop on and off the Target website. So if you are patient and track him down through the Target app, 
you will find this figure. Now he will run you about $27 after taxes, which is kind of high, but he does come with a bill of figure piece. So that's something McFarlane has been making with their bill of figures is that that figure normally is $5 more than your standard release. I still think Batman Beyond here is a fantastic figure. And if you haven't already done so, definitely add one of them to your collection. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other DC Multiverse videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you'd like to see me review, let me know down in the comments. And if it's in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. While you're at it, don't forget to check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.